everybody how are you guys doing welcome back to my channel today i am making a mini swag it's gonna be this big this tall it's gonna be it's gonna be like the size of a porcupine um i might be a little bit bigger than that who knows i'm using one of these christmas house trees no christmas house christmas tree however the noel um let's face it if you've uh, you, you you have one of these around your house you're watching a channel like mine you have one of these around your house if you're like me you have like seven of them because you bought them and said i bet you i can do something with that and maybe you did at some point but what you never did was just use it as a christmas tree because uh come on now come on wow i thought this was bigger than this okay I'm not, I'm not going to stress out about it. Um, maybe a little bit. Why did I think... I, I know, because this thing... Doesn't one of these things... Yeah. Now look how big it is. Okay. These... Awesome. This... Take it off. Toss it. This... I wish... Can I? Can I cut this down? Because that would make things. You guys. If I can crimp it, that means that I can cut it, probably. Okay, so I'm going to cut this down to probably right here. Some stuff might start unraveling. It's okay. We have a glue pot. Does this go lay down? Alright, so I'm gonna try to get this like down here. And I think we are definitely gonna have to glue that because, not because it's coming unravel, but because this is. Ah, okay, yeah, that's extremely sharp. I'm gonna crimp that again and just kinda try to. A little bit until we get some glue on it. Okay, so I did not know I could do that, but you can. So you have a nice pair of you know, those pliers, or I would have not pliers, um, wire cutters, or if you have a little hacksaw, I'm sure that you can get through that. I'm going to start by fluffing this up. I'm leaving it flat on the table while I'm fluffing because I want to pull everything to the front. As I hold it up in the air to fluff it. And I think these have, what is it, one, two, three, four, maybe five layers. five layers and then this top piece which might as well not even be there because I didn't have a mat, but I'm in an incredible amount of pain right now. I mentioned that in a book video I just filmed, so I don't know which video comes out first, but that's what's going on. My back hurts really, really bad. So that is a fluffed up, and this is not, I mean, this is, it is what it is, let's say. Once my mat's turned the other way. This is at most like 15 inches long. So what we're gonna do, they had mesh at Dollar Tree. Um, I made a, a, a a choice for my mental health to not buy any 
but they did have this mesh ribbon, which I've gotten before. Eh, it is what it is. It's not, there's no wire in it. You can't really make a bow with it. You can't make a wire bow with it, but I'm gonna use this as my mesh. And I never do gold, I feel like. I mostly got it because they had a dark green, which y'all know is incredibly difficult to find. I don't care where you're at. You could be at like the dark green ribbon store and I'd be like, do you have dark green ribbon at the dark green ribbon store? And they'd be like, we have lime. And I'd be like, well, I don't, I, I don't mind lime, but I need actual like dark green. They'd be like, oh no, we don't sell that at the dark green, dark green ribbon store. So how are we going to do this? Cause uh, spoiler alert, I don't know what I'm doing. Do I ever? I think I'm just gonna put these together. And I'm just gonna, I'm, I wasn't gonna let them fall through the floor, but they just fell, so. There we go. I'm gonna put these together and. I'm gonna start at the top. Do I wanna do like a, a thing like this? I'm gonna make a little loop at the top here. Put it in. Secure it nicely. Okay, and then we can spread these out. And then I'm gonna come down. I'm not measuring these, I'm just gonna kinda of get them in there. Hope that we have enough. Probably should have gotten two of each color, but and it's you know I'm gonna mix like the goals in the middle. I'm gonna pull it over there, pull the red this way, just to mix it up a little bit. a bunch of meatloaves when she was over here. She's like, I told her, I was like, I need food to eat. And I, I don't, I need food to eat like that's ready in the refrigerator or the freezer and ready to go. Because if I have to put any effort into it, I'm just like, ugh, I'm either not gonna eat or I'm gonna eat some junk. So, she made me some meatloaves and I was like, this is gonna be awesome. And I cooked the first one and uh, it lasted for about 45 minutes before I was sick and threw up because it was dry as hell. Which, not my mom's fault. It's my fault because I put it in the toaster oven and left it for, uh, I don't know, way longer than it needed to be left. Um, and I think I'm just going to, can I just kind of dovetail these? Not if I cut them that way, I can. Anyway, it was very dry. It made me sick. So, that beeping was me steaming a meatloaf in my Instant Pot. Because, why not? And I know, like, ten of you are like, here's the reasons why not. But, you know what? It's wrapped in foil. It's not going to, there's no way it's going to dry out. And it's done right now. And when I'm done with this, it'll still be hot. So I got that going for me. All right, and now I've cut. I'm gonna come right back over here. Do the same thing. I thought I was gonna have to make like a giant bow right in the middle to cover up this thing, but looks like not today. So stressed out, aside from my back, like, killing me, which it'll take a while, um, my mom's landlord, who after Carl died, she was like, oh, don't worry about anything. You're always going to have a place to stay because they've been friends for, like, ever. She called her today and was like, hey, I'm selling the house. 
and my mom does not want to buy the house. So, you can stay here forever, turned into, um, I changed my mom, but my mom's landlord's husband just died too. And apparently they're losing money on the house, which I don't know how that's possible. Whatever. Now my mom needs a place to live. See, I don't know how much I worry about my mom in general. And now I'm like, she's going to be homeless. She's going to be that lady on the street throwing cats at people like in The Simpsons. Which would never happen, but... Her house is just like so close to Walmart. It's so convenient. I'm a little, um, a little stressed out about that. Alright, and I have, uh, hmm, maybe enough to do a loop or two in the middle. Even though I have ribbon and ornaments and a bunch of other stuff to add. Before I mess with this, let me open these up. See, so yeah, if you wanted to use deco mesh to do this, you would be fine because I think whatever the deco mesh rolls like 15 feet, these are only nine. So you would definitely have enough, but I think I'm gonna have enough with this. Maybe. I think instead of doing a loop, I'm just going to get this kind of in the middle. Glue pot, are you melting or are you being naughty? What's going on over here? Okay, you're melting. My glue pot is so full. Like, I filled it up the other day and I turned it on and I was, like, sitting here when I was reviewing the books and I was just like, I'm gonna just let that do its thing. And then I looked at it and I was like, oh, that's a lot of glue. Oh, just like that. Oh, that's a lot of glue. Yeah, I'm pretty upset about the thing with my mom. Just because that's just something else for her to worry about. And uh, something else for me to worry about. I just don't know why Carl hasn't let me win Powerball yet. Carl, somebody, I could use forty million dollars. I promise I'll take care of everybody. I have like such a detailed plan for when I win upwards of forty million dollars. Buy me a house with a pool because I love swimming. Big garden. I can have a rose garden. I'm just like determined to cut one of these wrong. Build a nice studio. Buy a 12 foot Christmas tree. Buy my mom a house. With a big garden. Outdoor kitchen for me. Our college funds from my friend. This is gonna be the smallest swag ever. But maybe also very cute because of it. Or not. Who knows? College funds, pay off houses. Buy one thing really ridiculous. I don't know what it would be. Not like a tiger. Like not that not ridiculous like that. Like a I don't know. of Louboutin shoes that I would never wear because I never wear shoes. Alright, so now I have some red and gold 
ribbon because y'all know they don't have no green ribbon. They maybe have that green ribbon with sequins, maybe. This is a ribbon at Dollar Tree. I tend to stay away from the one that has this like wired edge because it, it, it tends to be a little crappy, but we'll see. He grabbed the old doll maker. Isn't my new mat nice, y'all? Right, so there, I guess. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to put a very big bow on this because it is so tiny, but. like a five inch. Wait, is there a right and wrong side to this? If there is, I can't tell. It's like I'm in Walmart this morning and I've been taking to Walmart yesterday. I got up and I was like, I can't do it today. I'm too tired. I don't feel good. Can't do it. So I went today and I was like, my back hurts. My neck, something was wrong. My, I like slept funny. My back hurt, my leg hurt because I was like walking stupid because of my back. Um, it was a mess. I feel like it gets to a point where it hurts so bad, I'm just like, I am going to pass out right here right now. And I got, I can't even say like I got upset because I wasn't upset, I was just in a lot of pain. Um, I was like, where were you? Because I saw her and then like I was walking around and it was like 10 minutes later when I saw her again. She's like, where did you go? And I was like, ah. And I was looking at the mats, but I was like, ugh. I need to wait. I need to wait. I need to wait. And then my mom was like, just get it. I'll buy it. $16. Calm down. Wouldn't have bought it if I knew she was going to be homeless on a street, like a character from Les Mis. I just wish life was fair. But I think as long as she can stay in the house through Christmas... Cause she had kind of like, she was like, listen, you know, it's the house is too big for her. The house is too big for her when Carl was alive. It's got a whole extra lot attached to it that she has to pay. I think she's paying like $200 a month to have that grass cut. Like $50 a week, it won't be so much, you know, when it's colder, but during the summer, it's $200 a week just to get the grass cut. I think it would be really nice if she could find something less expensive, still close to work. Because that's like her big thing. She doesn't want to, she doesn't have to drive 20 minutes to get to work. And right now she literally could walk to work. Do I have any other pipe cleaner besides... So, I'm going to take away. Uh, this is just five inch loops. You know, let's talk through all that. I don't know how much you guys hate that when I talk. Um, and I'm just going to. just for some added security. Oh, crap, I forgot to dip this. Can I still do that? All right, I'm gonna put this right here because this is gonna need to rest somewhere. All I'm doing, I'm not doing this to secure anything. I just want a coating of glue over this because that will slice your whole face off. Nice 
nice glob of glue. Um, and stay right there. All right, I guess I'll fluff this while I'm waiting. some reason I guess, I don't know. I can't tell if this has a right and wrong side. It's ugly, but I mean, it's not ugly, it's just like, mm. it's a little lemay -y for my tastes. from the high school I went to high school at. My alma mater, if you will. Um, they had ring day today and I went to go get my sister and I was like, why are all these cars everywhere? And then I was like, oh, it, it's ring day. This is so nice today, you guys. It's like, I left and it was 72. I left this morning, it was 72. By the time I got back to my house, it was 70. Right now it is, let's check because, you know, we're waiting for three and a half gobs of glue to dry. Okay, it's 72, so that was kind of productive, but look, it's going down to like tomorrow morning. It's gonna be 60. It's gonna feel like 56. I am all about that life. And then tomorrow it is um, 80, 83. So, you know, New Orleans. sister over here we started watching don't tell mom the babysitter's dead which i have not seen in the longest time and i was thinking about it the other day for some reason i was like i need to watch that and it's so dumb and it's so ridiculous and david duchovny's in it and i'm like Mulder, what are you doing Like, you know when you watch old movies and you're like, oh, I remember, like, the little, the little, not the littlest brother, like, the second oldest brother. Um, I was like, oh, he looks familiar. I was like, he must have been in something else that I remember him from. And I went and looked him up, and he died when he was 24 of a drug overdose. And I was like, oh, why did I look that up? And he was young, too. He was like, 30, maybe? Something like that? No, he couldn't have been through. I think he died in like 2000. Like he's been, he's been gone a while. Um, he might have been younger than 30, I'm sure. All right, are we, are we cooperating now? I mean, not that you weren't before. I just didn't want you to just rip my face off. All right, so I'm gonna. this a little bit underneath where we made our loops but yeah we started watching that we didn't finish it because my sister every time my sister comes over she's like i have to go home and clean out the gutters like it's always something ridiculous that she doesn't need to do and i'm like why did i bother bringing you over here because now i just have to leave again to bring you home because you you think you have to do something ridiculous like how how can somebody hate spending time at my house that much and every time i'm like let's watch a movie she's like It's just me who would be grateful to be invited anywhere because nobody invites me anywhere. Whatever. I got a lot of strong feelings today, y'all. Um, but she was complaining about everything she had to do at home, so I was like, I'll just take her home. I'll just stop what I'm doing.
see, I watched, I watched most of that. I'm going to go finish that during dinner. And then I want to watch Adventures in Babysitting. Because when I was watching, I was like, that move, no, Don't Talk on the Babysitter's Dead has not aged well. Like, there, there's massive, like, sexual harassment that the female characters are just like, oh, God, he's such a guy. Um, and, like, they, they literally just dump an old lady off at the morgue. Like, mm, they embattle a bunch of, you know, it's just like, uh, not a great example, but it's still a really good movie. Y'all. Okay, I know y'all are still saying, like, what are you going to do with that? It's so tiny. Calm down. Everybody calm down. Nobody throw their cell phones at their assistants. kid being, I mean, he wasn't a little kid when he died, but. And then his Wikipedia page is like, he never found much success after, uh, don't tell mom the babysitter's dead in some obscure show from the 90s that nobody remembers. He died in 95. He died in 96. No, is that right? He was married in 95 and divorced in 95. And I think he died in 96, but that was only five years after... I don't know. It'd be different if I could even tell you what his name was. And you could look it up and be like, oh, but it's the, it's the, it's the brother. And don't look up pictures of the brother and then be like, oh my god, Adam, what happened to this kid? I don't know. Like, people who were okay looking when they were kids sometimes turn into scary adults. It just happens. But Christina Applegate's okay. And David Duchovny's okay. And I guess Danielle Harris is okay. She's like a... All she does is horror movies. on these like nostalgia kicks when I see um when I see stuff like that and then I'm like I want to watch every movie that I watched when I was a kid I see that's why you don't cut a bunch of fabric at once because these are all messed up now Mom's working this weekend, so there's no Sunday dinner, which I'm, like, kind of thrilled about, but at the same time, I'm like, what am I supposed to do? And so my sister asked me, today, she's like, what are you going to do? And I was like, well, me and Mom only go off for a couple of hours on Saturday. And I guess, technically, if I wanted to, I could go meet her for lunch at Walmart. Hey, business, could you quit incessantly licking your paws? That would be cool. So we all on board for the 5k for Christmas? Yeah. We're gonna get me to 5,000 subscribers for Christmas. That would be neat. And I think I sold a wreath today. 
I think I might have sold two. Somebody contacted me and they were like, um, where's your Halloween wreath? And I was like, oh, I don't update Etsy. <laughs> like, <laughs> I should. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Because that sounds almost as fun as spending the day with my mom as spending all day making myself angry. That was, that was sarcasm. But, um, yeah, she messaged me and she's like, I like, she sent me screenshots of two of the wreaths, Halloween wreaths that I did. And she's like, I like this one and I like this one. And I was like, oh my god, oh my god, please buy both of them. Please buy both of them so I can buy brand name bologna next month. So if you ever say anything, you know, I make, you know, if you want this tiny, tiny, uh, swag for, um, a tiny door to, like, a cat's apartment. Let me know. Alright, so, <clears throat> I'm just gonna go in with these, and fill in some spaces. Set up like a meerkat when I think I hear something. I'm like, whoop. It's amazing how instantaneous my headache can come on. Instantaneously. Yeah, you know, I just did a film. I don't, I think it's coming out after this video. It's uh, The Spirit of Christmas, book 11, I think. It was so good. Like, all three of those books are super good, but I was like, oh my god, this one is fantastic. Like, just the ridiculousness was on point. But at the same time, I was like, well, you could just, like, update this a little bit, and it would be appropriate. I mean, for a lot of people, like, those, like, the stuff in those books is how their Christmas was when they were, like, that wasn't what my Christmas was like, but... I think it's very nostalgic for some people. You know, I had somebody say, this is exactly what my house looked like in 1994. I just think those books are so fun. Like, they, they weren't getting, like, great views, and I was like, should I stop doing this? And I was like, no, I'm doing this for me. Like, this is definitely, like, a, a, a my indulgence thing. Because my sister was like, nobody's watching those. And I was like, I don't care. I like doing them. Like, if I'm ever feeling really crappy, I'm like, I'm going to review a Christmas book. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Okay, so this is going to cost $8 max. I meant to count that before. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. $8 max, not counting the hot glue. Or that one pipe cleaner I used. Good to know you can cut those, huh? That is not even in the middle. I just like put those completely off to the side. I definitely think this needs more green, but pull the green out with the ornaments. Hmm, I need a 
another tie. I guess I can always take this one home. Some of these underneath, some of these on top. Where is the green? I'd like to bring up the green. So that's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. some of them off. I'm not going to just because I still want a little bit of that pine picking up and through and out and around. Ooh, Parenthood's a good movie too. Hey, is that kid in Parenthood? The one that overdosed? bandwagon. We're healthy. We're healthy. The only reason I'm not going to the Olympics this year is because they were canceled, but I'm basically bionic. This is dollar seven. We got five of ribbon, one of tree. Yeah, this is Get these in here. Even though there's not much to glue to because there is not much to this swag, but you know, we've added a lot of stuff to this swag. mom the babysitter's dead like when she gets a job at the as the exec what is going on as the executive administrative assistant the brother's like how much money are you going to be making and she's like thirty seven thousand dollars a year and they both like freaking out and i was like how are you going to survive on that christina christina applegate so much money and I was like well it is but well I guess 1991 was probably a very nice income for an executive executive assistant to the vice pro whatever it is <laughs> she says it like eight times and I can't remember these 
but I'm gonna have to get all of them. I, oh. Sometimes when you open these from one end, they won't move at all, and then you can open them from the other end, they'll just all fall out. Sometimes they'll do neither. They'll make a dirty, filthy liar out of you. you guys most of all. Okay. I can't like I put that one too close, but we'll survive it. I'm just gonna go in and plug these in around. I'm gonna go with the green first because I want to make sure that those are the most visible and then probably the gold because I feel like there's a lot of red. I'm missing glitter like that and I just make sure I always stick those down. switch from gold to red. Oh, I guess right now. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to live? Do you want to live over here? Okay. I hope my steamed meatloaf is good. <laughs> you know that episode of The Simpsons where, um, It's like a clip show, not a clip show, it's like an anthology one where Superintendent Chalmers goes over to Skinner's house for dinner and they're supposed to be having steamed clams but like the, the, um, the kitchen catches on fire. I completely just butchered this ribbon. The kitchen catches on fire so he has to run across the street to Krusty Burger to go get hamburgers. And he's like, I thought we were having clams. And he's like, oh no, we're having steamed hams. That's what I call hamburgers. And he's like, even though they're clearly grilled. And he's like, uh, yeah. Okay, we'll just have to glue something else on top of that because that ribbon looks terrible. I know. How about you? Oh, goodbye, Ribbon. We barely knew ye.
just stick these in here, huh? You could also stick these on the edges of the <clears throat> the edges of little tips if you wanted to. Maybe there's a green, maybe the other red right here. This is 15 ornaments for a dollar. I think that's pretty good, especially because they're like a a good size to fill in. unglued a piece of ribbon so that is good. Alright and here is our completed mini swag. That is so cute. Um so yes eight dollars which could probably be seven if you didn't want to use the big balls which I mean I like them. But if you're thinking like well what am I gonna do with that little bitty thing now? If you have like an outdoor light, I made these this one year. Um, it was all fall stuff though. If you have an outdoor like sconce light, I had mine and it was on a wreath frame and I cut the wreath at the top and just slipped the whole thing over it and it hung just like that. So it was just like a little, a little outdoor decoration. I think these would be good for um, retirement homes where you can't. You know they don't have a they don't have room maybe for a full size wreath or a tree or anything like just a little something cute. Um, inside and like you know a bathroom where you don't want something you don't you want to touch at Christmas or uh, outside on every window of your house because they're eight bucks. You know. But yeah, that is really cute and it's super sturdy because I used a lot of glue and to hang it I would pro I'm probably just gonna take this one and maybe another one somewhere or I'll probably just take this and there you go there's a hanger right there so yeah I mean there's I'm, I'm, I'm just off the top of my head like um, Hospital rooms, nursing homes, uh, on the, the lights. Just because it's, it's extremely economical and it's little and it's fun and it didn't take too long. I mean, you know, you don't take up, you don't talk about movies from the 90s and dead child actors as much and you can probably get it done a lot quicker. But yeah, I'm gonna go eat my steamed meatloaf and I will tell you guys how it is. Let's get those all fluffed out. Super cute. Alright guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.